Hey mom. It's about 8.30 at night and you know, after a good Sunday, I figured I'd cook. I mean, you know I cook, I know I cook, but, you know, y y when you move to a new state like I did, and, and you pack as much as you did, uh, as I did, and you you kind of get here, you start noticing like the little things. Like for instance, did I remember plates and silverware? Of course I did. Did I remember to buy a shirt, a shower curtain ahead of time? Because I figured that this apartment would have one? Yes, I did think the apartment would have one. No, it didn't, and no, I didn't buy one. Did I think when I first got here that I would remember to buy paper towel or toilet paper? Uh, no, I forgot. And guess what? I don't have at the apartment. Well, at the time, any paper towel or toilet paper. So now it's funny to me that these things just keep coming up. And no matter how much you plan, at least I thought I planned, you just run into these things. The newest one is kind of funny to me, right? You know I cook. I know I cook. So here, right now, I have some chicken, and I have some potatoes cooking. You want to see my knives I have? Here I was at the at the uh, the DI, which is like a a, uh, a uh, thrift store. I was like, oh, a bread knife, or a, I'm like, perfect. I'll, I'll just buy the bread knife, and I have, I have cutlery. I'll be fine. This is my only other knife in the house. Well, four of these. But you see the problem? I'm trying to cook potatoes. And I'm trying to cube them so that they cook quicker. Do I have a chef's knife? No. Do I have any real knife that's sharp enough to cut through potato and cut through chicken or tomatoes or anything that I want to cook in the future? No. <laughs> oh, I, I think it's crazy to me that it's just, I don't know. What was I thinking? Apparently I wasn't, but man, um, let me tell you, in the event that you only have a butter knife and you need to cut through some potato, it works. I wouldn't recommend it, though. All right, Mom, well, I'm going to go back to uh, cooking some chicken, some potatoes. Kind of give you an idea of what I'm going to have is I'm going to throw some of the, uh, the chicken on a bed of potatoes and throw it in some hot sauce. That's pretty much what I eat, but you already know that. Also, don't pay attention to any of that. It's not dangerous or anything. Hey, but the rent's cheap. <laughs> All right, bye, Mom. So I was gonna get some b-roll of the food cooking, but the lighting here is not the best. So that's why I bought that. <laughs> Watch this. Dark kitchen? Not dark kitchen. So that's gonna be in the back. Just for you, Mom, so you can see kind of a bit better. But you see me better. Man, look at me. No. <laughs> Alright, I figured I'd just show that. Alright, hey, Mom. It's about, I don't know, 2.41 right now, and uh, I actually got a... An interesting gift from some of my old co-workers. I uh, found a box and so if you look here, um, you're seeing it right now. I um, went ahead and opened it only because I don't want to show the address, either one. But uh, if you take a look right here, you'll see that, uh, let's see if this will focus. Have to manually focus the only issue. Here, I probably can do this faster just by myself. There we go. So you can kind of see the, uh, there we go. Um, this is a mannequin, and in the mannequin with the hand, we, uh, we kind of hide the stuff everywhere. And then there's one of my coworkers, and then this is what you see right here. Let me just swap this back over to autofocus. And it's just some things to remind you of Saugus Drugs. And so, when you open it, immediately you'll find yourself with a post office label, which is actually pretty funny because we, uh, we actually had, um, a post office, and so this is... It's funny that they put that, and here's an express label. They also put everything in glitter. Oh, I absolutely hate glitter, but I think they knew that. So let's see what else is in here. We have a, uh, it looks like to me this is going to be a, uh, <laughs> a Hallmark kind of pocket calendar. We have a, uh, a receipt. Let's see, for zero dollars and zero cents, and it was charged to, oh, it was charged to me. If you look right there, you can see that, you can see when this focuses finally. No, nope. all right, well, I'll show the, the phone. You'll see that it, it's charged to me. Um, looks like there's just, you know, it's Ghirardelli, but it's just a wrapper. <laughs> it's nothing, nothing there uh, with that. No idea what that says. Oh, got to 
Got official uh, letterhead from Socks Drugs. Balloons, cause you know, we did that there. Let's get this in focus again. Yeah, balloons, so we, we had balloons. Um, so inside a balloon, <laughs> this is a laser gun. Let's see if it works. Yep, uh, we had a, a store-wide laser gun fight at, at one point we were keeping track. Oh, this, this is a blank sheet of paper that we'd cut up and we'd use for, uh, we'd use it for just kind of scratch paper and kind of things like that. Oh, a voice changer, again, in a, it's, in a, oh, is it broken? The balloon was pushing the trigger, so I bet it's out of battery, but we had a good old time with some of these. Um, we used these quite a bit and just was goof around the store and it was pretty fun. My poor camera can't focus on anything. Let's see what else do we have in here. We have yet yeah, more trash, but no, wait, 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 this says something. It says, you are never too old and it's never too late. You know what, I have a coworker and she used to always eat those, so I bet that's hers. Uh, again, a balloon weight. You see here, smiley face, balloon weight. Um, <laughs> a broken fish spinner. Seems, seems kind of fitting, right? <laughs> and, uh, oh, this is, this is adult hand putty. It, uh, it smells good, so it's to be, like, therapeutic. Uh, they gave me the tester, because, you know, that's what they do, and it's... Oh, yeah, that smells horrendous. Oh, no, I got glitter in it. Oh. Um, let's see what else is in here. What is this? A uh, severed head. All right, sure. Are these more just blank? Yep, now I can have scratch paper. Perfect. Oh, and the, the Saugus Drug and Hallmark card. Let's see. With the GM and some of the phone numbers, so give those a call. We have a uh, paper airplane here. This has been sitting in that front counter forever, so I think that's funny. We have... A charge from a, uh, a Miss Nancy, and it's for item, let's see, uh, Garadelli. She sent me the receipt for the trash she put in my box. How kind of her. Thoughtful. Right? And what is this? I have a, uh, a Bon Bon Tea House stamp card with two stamps on it. Wow! Almost there. Oh, it's in Northridge, California. Well, if I'm ever out in Northridge, I'll be sure to stop. That's like 600 miles. Yeah, just about. And, oh, <laughs> the Mother's Day 20% off we gave since we were also a gold crown store. Awesome. What else we got in here? I got a lucky penny. Thanks, guys. And, oh, I'll have to show this. I don't know what this is. Okay, uh, more weights, perfect. A super small pack of playing cards. Those actually might come in handy if they're real. Some gold crown, gold seals for my, my cards. Thanks guys, I'm definitely gonna use that in the future. And this army man. So now this army man got moved around the store and hid in really funny places. Um, I don't have many pictures, so I, I don't think I can really show that. Oh, look, even more trash. It says, always time for love. And again, I'm going to assume that's going to be Nancy. But that looks like that's it. So let me go ahead and stop recording on the camera and go ahead and show you guys. Let's open this up real quick. Okay, so I don't know if this is going to be mirrored, but this is the Santa Cruz Valley, and that's in California, and that's where I was. And it shows a trail, and let's follow the trail. So for those that are wondering what this is, this is a receipt paper that was about to go, hence the red line, and they ripped it out and replaced it with something new and drew a map or something across of it. And it's gonna keep going. Oh, a loop-de-loop -loop right there. Okay. And where's it gonna end up? <laughs> it just keeps going, keeps going. Keeps going. Wow, this is really long. Oh my gosh. And another loop de loop. Be a very good oh, there we go. Payoff. And I, Utah, that's where I am right now. <laughs> so I have all of this. You know, you know, guys, this is totally gonna be hung up in my room or like right behind me. 
Thank you so much, guys, for this. You guys were you guys were awesome coworkers. I miss you guys a ton each and every day. Um, don't think I'm ever gonna forget about Saugus Drugs. If you guys are ever in the Santa Clarita Valley in California, be sure to stop into Saugus Drugs. It's a unique place to work. It's a unique place to go. You'll meet some amazing people in there. But uh, this was awesome. Um, oh, you know what? One more thing. There, there was. It, oh, I'm just throwing everything on the ground. There was this official. Um, letter and what's in it got multiple pieces of paper and this is <laughs> this is a Saugus drugs return form for when someone uh returned um an item or medical supplies as a as a manager i had to deal with a lot of these and so it was a cashed check we're actually they're giving me back check and it's the product description is me and the reason is because of Utah, and it was signed by Laura, the acting manager there now. Awesome. What is this? <laughs> so this is the daily agenda. Let me see if I can just kind of not show everybody's name. But right there, you see some names. I guess it doesn't matter since they're all just first names. Um, this is where you put lunches, you know, post office coverage. It's me. The closing manager is Laura, Jim, and Garrett. Apparently, this costs thirteen ninety nine, and this was done in four nineteen. Uh, you can see no one gets lunches. We got to wake up and eat food, take a shower, uh, go to oh whoops a cool oh not not as cool job. Go to not as cool job. So this must be for me, uh, which is true. Uh, eat lunch, go home, miss my friends. I do. And then cry like, a, hey, I like a little girl. We'll say that. I'll have to blur that out. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Fix the hoozies and dust the dupers. Oh, man. That's, that's, that's Laura. I know that's, that's her right there. But, man. All right. Well, I'm going to clean this up. I'm covered in glitter. As you can clearly say, well, my, everything's cutter, covered in glitter. They know I don't like glitter, so I'm assuming that's why they did it. But thanks, guys, so much. Um, thanks, Zach. Thanks, Laura. Thanks, Nancy. Thank you. Uh, we got Jason there. We have Garrett. We have Emma. Sarah, unfortunately, is not there. Jim, you know, best boss ever. If you guys are looking for a part-time job, that's definitely where you're going to go. Um, you know, he's a great boss. Um, I forget everyone. I just want to say hey to, to Carlette, to, to Patty, and then we have Tony and Muriel in the post office and in Hallmark, Muriel's Hallmark. Um, I don't know if they hired anyone new, but if you did, hey, I'm Wes. I was a manager there. Um, look in the office in the ceiling. I'm part of the Lost Crew. Uh, sign my name on some stuff. Wait, if you guys don't know that, never mind. <laughs> um, I'm not forgetting anyone other than Chris. He's the owner. Hey, Chris. Um, I, I want to make sure I got everyone. Oh, and Jason and Jason, the Jason crew. So we have Dr. Jason. You know what? I'm in here and I'm making money. Not Chris Joy money, but I'm making money. <laughs> All right, guys. Oh, I miss you daily. And mom, these were my coworkers. All right, guys. Later. Yeah.